two, one. So we are at our first stop for the GIOB 102 students. This is stop one. If you look around again, we're right inside that place where all of the disturbance about 65 years ago is taking place. And you'll notice that these trees are relatively uniform, the ones that are in the canopy at about the same size. So you wanna really uh, get a chance to identify these. So I'm just gonna look at one tree. There's one in the middle of the trail here and it has particular bark. You can see it's fairly light colored and smooth uh, and it has a, a leaf, which I'm going to show you, excuse me, Nellie, that would have died in the fall, but the best we have our leaves on the ground and it looks a little bit like this and so I just want the camera to be able to see that you can see it's a bit toothed so that's the leaf that belongs with this tree and if you look around at all of the stems you can see that that gray color that light grayish bark is, is is common it's the same species as this one if you can get out your your species ID key and using the leaf uh, try to identify it and this by the way uh, is a single leaf it's not a compound leaf. It's a deciduous tree as well. So it's a hardwood species. So go ahead and try to do that. The other tree that is common here in the canopy is another, what we can think of as a pioneer or early successional species. Uh, and I'm just gonna ask the photographer to walk with me over to uh, an example of it. And it's these really tall, towering individuals that if you were to be able to see them, they have a top a bit like a lollipop. So they go grow really straight and tall, very fast. Uh, their bark is a little bit more ridged than the, than the other species that I told you about. And their leaf looks a little bit like this. So you're gonna be using this leaf. Again, these ones fell in the fall, but we can still find them on the ground. And you're gonna use that to ID it. So the next thing you wanna do is actually look around us and have a look at what's growing in what we can think of as the understory. Uh, maybe not the small herbaceous or shrubby species, uh, but the intermediate sized tree species that you see. And I want you to just notice that a lot of them have leaves on them. And here's an individual that I'd like you to pay attention to. It is our example of a evergreen with scale-like leaves. And you're going to be identifying that species in the uh, stop too. But just notice that these individuals are, are younger, are smaller, but certainly they stand a good chance in a few decades to potentially become the canopy in this, in this location. And I want you to think back to what this looked like immediately after humans bulldozed and cleared and disturbed the soil here, that there would be nothing growing here. And that's basically time one for the current species in the canopy that uh, initial species that I showed you that I want to ID. So there you go. Good luck with that.